I'm here in this conference, thanks to the management for inviting me as chief guest. You know, world is getting disrupted by every day, new technologies that come into the forefront. Until unless we research further, we deliberate upon these topics, we will not be able to progress as a nation. I'm very happy to see that the electrical, computing and electronics all together have come in this conference to talk about innovations, to talk about intelligence that we are bringing into everyday devices and everyday objects. There are physical things and then there are cyber. You know, we are going through this mega transformation, the digital transformation that is happening. So this is all cyber physical systems. And we want to make sure that they are intelligent, they are connected, and they are trusted when you use them. The security and privacy, these are concerns that we need to tackle. I personally am on a mission to make sure that the frontier R&D gives the business edge. There is this R&D that we have to boost it up in India. There are a lot of ideas that come and we call it technology readiness level one, two, three. And in the business, I see every day new products and solutions are getting scaled up. That is TRL 8, 9 going up to the highest level. But I see a big gap between this TRL 3 and TRL 7 whereby you build a product that will be used by the consumer, that will be used by many people, that will be used for valuable purposes. So therefore, this gap is called translational research. And as you know that the G20 presidency has come to India, we are thinking big and under the B20 umbrella, we are talking about innovation, research, the R&D, how to boost it up, how to take it with the international collaborations, how to get new fundings, and how to make sure, you know, things that we do are very meaningful. You know, in my social media, if you go, I talk about three things, the tech on sci art, because scientific and artistic foundations upon which the technology could be built, tech of value, the meaningful innovations that goes into the product, and tech for all, you know, day by day when new things come, it is only natural that a set of people will adopt and another set will not be able to adopt. And therefore, the barrier grows. Until unless we are cognizant of that and we solve that barrier to go away, it will not be very socially productive. Therefore, tech for all. So some of the researchers need to focus on this all aspect of it, the inclusive aspect of it. Therefore, again, very happy to see that from my past connections with the Institute of the NMIT, last year we did an IEEE COMSOC, we organized a hackathon here. We have also started projects with Samsung on the PRISM and innovation campuses and in that direction it is progressing. And this year being IEEE chair, I'm also happy to be part of this conference and I'm hoping that this institute will uh, continue to raise its bar, continue to support students in its difficult time and its ambitious time the way the organization is ambitious. So I wish you all the best and keep growing, keep rocking. Thank you very much.